Hey there, welcome back. This is Greg with Engaging History. Today we're going to look at a lesson that compares the epic of Sundayata to Black Panther as told in the 2018 Marvel film. But first let's look at the quote of the week. We don't get to decide whether we have challenging students in our classes, but we can certainly decide how we respond to them. That's from Carol Ann Tomlinson. Remember we study history to understand our world, avoid past mistakes, and appreciate other cultures. As always, this lesson is designed to be both fun and challenging for students. Okay, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've compared Sundayata, The Lion King of Mali, to Disney's The Lion King. Today we're going to look at the epic of Sundayata compared to Black Panther. In many ways, there's even more connections between the stories. This is one of my favorite ways to teach on West Africa. Many content standards go over the empires of Mali, Ghana, and Songhai. Sundayata, of course, is connected to the Empire of Mali. This resource that I'm going to cover goes over 36 slides that compare the two stories. I want to give you a preview of what is in this lesson. First, there are three pages of graphic organizers that students will use to follow along. Whether or not students are familiar with Black Panther or Sundayata's story, they can still access this lesson. The learning goal for this lesson is that students will be able to summarize the plots of Sundayata and Black Panther, then draw comparisons between the two stories. All right, just to help with reference, there's a page here on this PowerPoint that has many of the main characters from the Black Panther film. And on this slide, you have many of the characters from the Sundayata epic. All of these pictures and names and thumbnails are on one of the handouts for students to use as well so that they can reference them. For this lesson, I've borrowed an adaptation of the story as told by a Griot from the 1960s. Here we're gonna look at an example of a plot point from the story of Sundayata and compare it to the Black Panther. The story begins with King Maghan, the ruler of Mali, He's from a long line of distinguished hunters. There's a prophecy that he will marry an ugly woman and they will bear a son who will end up being Mali's greatest ruler. Now in the story of the Black Panther, there's a prologue that describes a mythical origin of the Black Panther who has superhuman power. And King T'Chaka also comes from a long line of rulers. His son T'Challa becomes the next Black Panther. At this point, you might ask students to compare the two stories side by side, and you can work together to pull out some of these similarities. First, there's a reference to a royal lineage in both stories. There's a secret source of strength. In the story of Sundiata, it's the Buffalo Woman. In Black Panther, it's Vibranium. The mothers of both princes in the story have struggles. Later on in the lesson, I have this slide that students really enjoy. I ask them to connect the characters from both stories. Obviously, T'Challa is Sundiata. Eric Killmonger is Sumanguru. He might also be Dankaran. By the end, I ask my students to select one of the three writing prompts here. I really hope this helps you as you think about how to teach on West African empires. Thank you so much for watching. Take a minute to like and subscribe. I will link this lesson as well as many others below.